Enjoy something sweet and savory when you get two delicious sausage McGriddles for just $3. There's a better way to breakfast. Is that mine? And a pleasant good morning. Welcome inside Coach's Corner, live here on Works 96.7 WORX. Live from the McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop each and every Saturday morning. I'm Jordan Bear sitting in for Tim Torrance this morning as he's got softball duties to take care of. But I'm happy to sit in the big chair this morning as we have tennis in this morning. Another school from Southwestern, Southwestern Girls Tennis, and head coach Kenny Garrett. Coach, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? Um, doing well. Considering the, the weather, you know, wish it was a little bit nicer for all the local teams around, but uh, just got to deal with it. I, I tend to agree. This weather can kind of put a damper on a lot of things. So you've coached tennis before, but you've been away for a few years. So talk about your experience in tennis and why you decided to come back. Um, well, the coach last year uh, happened to have a baby. And I think that uh, it was probably just a little overwhelming for her to try to do everything. So. Uh, spot opened up and I uh, had a few parents call and ask if I'd be interested and, and uh, obviously I was. Uh, I probably should have never quit in the first place but I really enjoy it. Uh, I love being around the kids uh, and uh, the nine years that I coached before we were really successful so I uh, wanted to jump, in, jump back in and, and see what I could do to help and I think so far it's really going well. You mentioned the success in the history of Jefferson County. There have only been five tennis sectional championships and you had one of them back in 2013, I believe. Yeah. Uh, uh, talk about your run there. Well, that was, was a, a, a pretty senior late team for us that year. Um, over those nine years, we were 129 and 34, so a lot of success, uh, about 15 or 16 wins a season. Um, at that time, Greensburg and Jennings County were both pretty strong, so could have very easily been three or four or five sectionals, but uh, we were lucky to get the one that we got. We were 22 and three that year. Um, really good season. Uh, we were solid up and down and carried about 17 or 18 girls, so it was, practice was very competitive every day. So everyone was fighting for positions all the time. And uh, once I, once I kind of get a set position for people, I'd like to stay with it. And uh, just so happened that year we were set for most of the season, so uh, really successful that year. And all the, all the other years, I'll, I'll, I'll give a shout out real quick to Kelsey Shaw. Uh, Kelsey Jones to me, but she played four years for me, and she was uh, somewhere around 50 wins and five losses at number one singles for me. And uh, you know, it really does my heart good to see her jump into coaching for Madison, and uh, hopefully something that I did helped them impact that for her. And, and I wish her nothing but the best this season. But uh, yeah, we had some really successful teams then, and, and this team is no different. And the uh, the age of these girls we have, Ashland's our only senior. Um, we have no juniors in our top seven. Um, we've got four, uh, four freshmen and two sophomores. So, um, you know, they're really eager to win, they're eager to learn. So uh, that's a plus for me every day to go to practice. You know, you know, and I agree on Kelsey. I mean, what I think they couldn't ask for a better coach to try to get a program really going. Um, but you, you mentioned before we went on air about how you started a junior high program several years ago. Yeah. And now a school like Shaw, they followed suit as well. Other schools in the area, uh, Salem, Seymour, all of them have gotten junior high programs going. How important is something like that to keep not only success going, but participation going at the varsity level? Well, you know, 14 years ago, uh, it would have been my second year, uh, I had 23 girls on the tryout for the varsity team. And I kept all 23. Um, wouldn't do that anymore, but I did. And um, we had a lot of junior high people asking about junior high, so I went to the school board and said I either need a junior high uh, coach in a full schedule or a junior varsity coach in a full schedule. And they asked me to choose, and I said, no brainer, get me junior high. Um, when you have kids coming in as freshmen that uh, have an idea of of the sport. They know how to keep score, they know how to volley, they know how to um, you know, get mentally tough at the, at, at the junior high level and then they come in and you get them. All you have to do is tweak some things for them to make to make them a, a stronger player. Uh, you might have to teach them a cut shot or, or how to go to the net a little bit more or, or hit the alleys in doubles matches or just small things like that that, that make them 
a better player quickly. You know, you mentioned obviously you're coaching the varsity, and I know the junior high has their own coach, but how much are you directly involved with uh, their production at that level? You know, I don't do a whole lot. Mr. Green does a good job down there with them. Uh, I think they've got 22 girls this year, so a lot of girls coming through to just wanting to play tennis for us, and that's that's you know that's outstanding for us. That's great, and and he does a good job down there. And I think last year they were undefeated, and this year I I think they've only lost one. They're four four five and one right now, so you know things are really looking good. And uh, if, if Robert needs advice, I'm glad to give it to him. Uh, when he first came on board as the boys' head coach, uh, I came over and helped him with some practices and things, and uh, and he's grown from there. So he's doing a good job. Let's talk about this year. So you're off to a very good start. You're six and one, uh, including a couple victories against uh, sectional opponents. Talk about the season you've had so far, looking ahead, and the outlook at sectional. Well, so far it's been uh, really good. At the beginning and before we started, and I had my first meeting, I promised them three things: that they would see quick improvements in their game, uh, that would, we would be very competitive because I demand that. We're going to work hard to be competitive. So. Uh, that's worked out good, and I told them we're going to have fun. And I think that we've actually hit all three of those things running. Uh, the girls have improved a lot. I can tell you probably after about three days of practice, I've seen improvement in, in, in uh, most of the girls. I really did. Um, so they've grown a lot. The season's gone well. Uh, Jennings County got us last Friday night 4-1, to one, but that score is no indication of how tight the match was. Uh, we had two other two uh, matches going to three sets. It could have went either way. So you know we're right there. Uh, Greensburg is also strong this year, so it's going to be a real competitive sectional, and uh, and I think if we get another shot at Jennings, I really feel confident that we can we can give them a run. You know, schools up there, you know, they're big schools, and obviously tennis is single class. A lot of times they can bring in these huge numbers, and sometimes you just can never you never know what they're going to bring in. Exactly, as I said before, if tennis was class, we'd probably have seven or eight sectionals hanging in our <laughs> school right now. But you know, it is what it is, and you deal with it. And, and you know, I like the competition. That's fine. Bring them on. Uh, just because we're a smaller school than they are, doesn't mean we our hearts any smaller. So, you know, we're we're, we're ready to go. You, you look at this schedule. You also have the Southern Indiana Tennis Conference Championship, which is you all, Shaw, Milan Christian Academy, and am I missing one? Trinity and Trinity Lutheran. How nice would it be to get that trophy back in the trophy case at Southwest? That's number two on my list. Uh, obviously, when I win a sectional, that's going to always be our number one goal. Uh, the conference tournament is always going to be number two for me, and, and hopefully for the kids also. Uh, uh, we want to win every match. Uh, we go into every match thinking we got to win three matches somewhere. And at the beginning of the year, I told the girls that I would put them in places where I felt that they would be most successful. And I think we've done that, and, and so far it's worked out for us. Like I said, Jennings County was a close one, and uh, we'll get another shot. I got a feeling. When you came back to coach uh, again this time around, was it kind of like you? You were just right back in the swing of things, or did it take you a minute to get used to it again? No, it, it felt like I hadn't left. Actually, uh, I know uh, you know I'm from Hanover, went to school there, played tennis and basketball, and ran track there. So most of these kids I'm coaching, I know their parents. Uh, they were either probably close to my age or a little bit younger. So uh, it's not wasn't much of a change for me at all. I slid right back in, and everything's going well. Kenny, you, you said you only have one senior this year, um, but to me, whether it's one senior, two senior, three seniors. Always having a senior is important, especially for leadership with the other girls. Absolutely, and and Ashlyn is our team captain. Uh, she is our only senior. Uh, she leads by example, as far as I'm concerned, in the classroom, on the tennis court. Um, she, she's an awesome young lady. Uh, only wish I'd have got to spend more time with her. Um, but this year's been great so far, and I look forward to the rest of the season with her. You look at that, and uh, it's got to be nice knowing, especially having a senior for girls to go to that way because you don't always have to be coaching them. She can always step up and say something when you don't have to. Exactly, and you know, I give her a little bit of responsibility on maybe contacting girls if, if there's a change in schedules, or um, I'll call or ask her for advice on something and see what she thinks because she is the senior, she is the captain, so uh, she does more than just have that title, so she does do some things for me that, that helps me out. You know, talk about not only tennis, but what you're trying to teach these girls just in life in general. Because high school sports, wins and losses are awesome. Um, you know, well, maybe not the losses so much, but teaching them about just going forward and getting them prepared for the next level. How important is that for it's, you to teach these girls? It's funny that you bring that up because, you know, uh, a commercial that you guys play daily is the IHSAA. Uh, I'll you know, take your word for it. You've got players uh, sitting in the uh, business world you got doctors and lawyers in, in the state of Indiana, and if you look at their background, most of them have an athletic background. 
Um, I think that that's very true. I think that if you're in athletics and uh, you have to battle winning and losing and you have to get mentally tough at, at, at certain situations of your life, uh, I think it helps you uh, as an adult in your job. I know I go to work every day and try to make it better um, just because of the things I've been through. I can tell you right now I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for me uh, playing athletics in high school. I can assure you that. I don't know where I'd be, but athletics molded me and made me who I am today. Uh, I've got many, many, many friends because of athletics, uh, and I think it really makes a difference. Um, and I think these kids going through just a season where you can compete and, and battle through losses or wins and, and be successful, a team means everything. I can tell you that uh, one of the hardest nights of my lifetime was in 1987 when we lost a regional game to Jeffersonville uh, in basketball. You feel like you let down uh, your teammates and you let down your community and your school. Uh, a coach who was a father figure for me, uh, that sticks with me today. And I'm 50 years old now and, and I look back on that night all the time and, and think back to how I could have done something different. Um, and, I, and I hope that I'm doing something for these kids to make them look back one of these days to think, you know, Coach Garrett was right in this situation and it's helped me uh, in my life and in my job. So, you know, hopefully I'm teaching them something that they're going to carry for a long time. You mentioned, uh, you know, looking back and you have coaches that, you know, you, a coach you looked up to. You obviously coached here for several years. It's got to make you feel good when you hear, hear girls come to you and say, you molded me into who I am. Oh, absolutely. Uh, this is my 28th year coaching at Southwestern, so you could line up kids from here to Vivi probably, and uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, I've made an impact on some of them. I know when I see former players, uh, it's always a good handshake or a good hug, and, mm -hmm. and hopefully I've done something for them that uh, has made them a better person or, or a better parent or something you know, it's done good for them in their life. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good and bad in the world today, and, and just as your segment is uh, tell me something good, I listen to that, and, and I like that. I mean, you know, it's good to hear some of the good things instead of all the negative things in the world that's going on. So I appreciate that every morning. Well, and that, that's why I started doing it, honestly, yeah. was because of that reason. Um, you got two uh, pretty great girls here. Why don't you go ahead and introduce them, and then we'll chat with them, all okay? All right. Ashton Cloud is our senior. She's our captain and she plays number one doubles for us with Chloe Adcock. And Autumn Harmon is our sophomore. She plays number three singles for us. And she is undefeated at number three singles currently on the year. Awesome. Well, then let's chat with them. Ashlyn Cloud, good morning, young lady. Good morning. How, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you for asking. So go ahead, not only talk about your senior year so far tennis, but just your high school career tennis-wise. Well, my freshman year, we, we were really young and there's like, well, let's just say there's only like three girls that have actually played tennis. So they're like, the very first practice was just us learning how to hit the ball over the net because I had never played tennis before. It was just kind of like, I need to do something, let's play tennis. Do, do you, do you uh, like that decision that you made? Yes, <laughs> I am very happy with that decision I made. <laughs> so talk about that decision when it came though. When you joined, what, were you scared to at first? Because tennis is very different from basketball or anything else. Well, I used to I used to play softball and I played it so much, I just absolutely hated it. Like I was so over it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, continue. And so then one of the girls that uh, used to play softball as well, she was doing joined tennis. So then I was like, well, maybe I should just join it. So I texted her and said, hey, sir, are you joining tennis? And she said, yeah, she used to join too. So then we just kind of did it together. Mm. You've had a, a few head coaches, uh, a couple head coaches in your time at Southwestern. Obviously, you have Kenny this year, who, of course, is a legend out there. Talk about what it's been like with him this year. He has taught me a lot. Um, I knew what I was doing, but, like, he – He's trying to help me like get better than that, and it's really, I'm really thankful for that. Obviously, being a senior, um, this is your last year being able to play at Southwestern. But talk about your senior year as a whole, leading into this, how it's been for you. It's well, I don't know. It's really good. I like it. It's I'm real. I was really happy when I got captain mm. because all like I like how the girls are younger and they look up to me, and it's mm. really nice and. I feel like our team is it's more of like one whole than like different like groups and I really like that. Um, you you had a good start to the season. 
What are some of your goals this year? Um, my number one goal is to win sectionals, and then I would also really like to win conference, which I had a chance. We had a chance last year, but the Christian Academy they beat us by a little bit. But I think we really, my partner Chloe, I think we have a really good chance this year. And you know, you look at the you look at the sectional. It's a very very tough sectional. Two very good, you know, two big schools in it. Greensburg and Jennings County, who are both solid. Shaw's down this year, but they've won the last three. And then of course you have Madison in there. But you and I both know in any athletic sport, you can never overlook any team. Yeah, no. What's your mentality whenever you go into a match? That we have the chance to beat them and there's like, don't back down. Even if you're up, don't think that you have them in the back because you don't you have to keep pushing. Obviously, you're a couple months away from graduation. What are your plans after graduation? I plan to go, I'm going to U, University of Indianapolis and I'm going to major in experience design and marketing. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Ashlyn. Best of luck to you this year, okay? All right, let's go ahead and switch things up here. Now we are joined by the three singles, the undefeated Autumn Harmon. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. So talk about this year in tennis so far for you. Um, this year tennis has been, only obviously it's only my second year, but it's been one of my best years of tennis so far. Um, because of my success and because I just feel like our team is so good together this year. I think we have a great team this year. You, you said it's your second year playing varsity. Did you play junior high tennis? Yes, I played tennis since sixth grade. I actually did not want to play at first. My friend was like, let's do tennis and basically forced me to do it. I was like, I'm going to suck. I'm going to be so bad. But I ended up loving it and I ended up starting as a sixth grader and have pretty well just gotten better every year since then. Talk about the impact that playing junior high had on you going into varsity. Um, I think it was playing junior high before actually going into high school was good because you really get down the fundamentals and then when you're in high school you can work on the more strategic things and really think about playing smart. When you uh you try to get people, talk to people to play tennis because obviously it's a sport that sometimes um, not not everyone is interested in. How do you? What do you say to people that are on the fence about joining tennis? I just say it is so much more fun than you could think, and people are always so surprised. If I can get them out there, like they're so competitive and they just see how hard they can hit it, and it's a lot more fun than they think that it would be. You uh, had one coach last year, obviously she had a baby, so she stepped away. You have Coach Garrett this year. What's it been like the transition with him? Oh, it's been great. Um, it's it's a learning curve because it's unlike any coach that we've really ever had. Um, and it's just great. I feel like we have so much more of a family. Um, I don't know, and I just love it. You, um, again, a great start to the year. You're unbeaten so far. You have. Um, you still have conference to go, you still have sectional to go. What do you want to see this year happen for you? Well, personally, I want to stay undefeated. That is my biggest goal. And obviously, I want to win sectionals and conference. And you have more years to do it. You can maybe yeah. win a few there, yeah. add a few trophies I'm to the trophy. Hoping, yep. So, uh, again, what's your message to some of the younger kids that are listening? Um, no matter where you are, just keep playing because you will get better and it, you will be so glad that you play. Excellent. Well, Autumn, thank you very much and best of luck to you this year, okay? Thank you. Welcome back to Coach's Corner, live here on Works 96.7 WRX. I'm Jordan Bear, joined by, of course, Southwestern Lady Roll Tennis Coach Kenny Garrett. We just talked to uh, Coach Garrett with a couple of your players, great personalities on this team. I feel like they're a fun group to coach. Oh, man, it's, it's a fun group. I'll tell you what, they uh, uh, do something every day that uh, just kind of astounds me. Uh, they, re they really are good kids. And like they said, they care for each other. Uh, that's the main thing that, that I'm looking for is a team experience for them and it's really been that, that way so far this year. You just have two of them this morning but you also have other members of the team you want to talk about Absolutely. them? Absolutely. Uh, Julia Wooster is a freshman and she's playing number one singles for us this year uh, which is which is a new spot for her. Uh, you know coming in as a freshman and playing number one singles uh, I did that myself in high school and it's tough. You're going to play lots of different types of players and my daughter Abby played number one singles for me for four years and and she can tell you that it's a tough position to play you got to go in every night with an open mind to, to do your best and and not give up and Julia has done that so far she's uh she's got five of her record at number one which is great for a freshman uh playing against different competition so the thing I tried to do with Julia is to get her to go to the net a little bit more um 
trying to teach these girls a cut shot, which for Timmy T would be trying to teach the girls how to drag bunt. Oh, it's okay. a tough thing to do. Uh, but once you learn it, it's a, it's a weapon that you can use. And Julia's, we played Warden the other night, and I looked down and she's hitting the ball and going to the net. So she's actually taking that stuff from practice and putting it into her match, which I was really happy to see because she's not a net player. She's a, she's a volleyer, and she's putting that stuff in, into the match. So I was really happy to see that. Um, another freshman, L.A. Forge, playing number two singles for us. Hits the ball extremely well from the forehand and backhand side. Uh, also working on some weapons with her other than just that. Um, she hits the ball extremely well. I spent a lot of time hitting tennis balls, but you have to have other weapons in your game to be competitive against better players, and, and Ellie's worked really hard to get there. And uh, Both of these girls that wanted two singers are going to have really good four-year careers for me uh, and for the school. Uh, at number three, obviously, uh, Autumn's had, had a good season so far, and I expect nothing more than uh, her to finish really strong on the season. At number one doubles, uh, Ashland's partner is uh, Chloe Adcock, who's a freshman. Um, Miss Enthusiasm is what she is. Uh, she brings a lot to the table, but when she gets down on herself, she's down. Uh, and I've tried to get her to understand that that you can't be uh, hills and valleys. You got to be, you got to be a straight line. You got to be positive all the time. Uh, you got to keep enthusiasm all the time. And, and I think she's uh, coming around. She's a really good player. Uh, look forward to uh, having her for four years also. Uh, at number two doubles for us is Allie Voorhees, who's a sophomore. Uh, she played number two doubles last year, was all conference. Uh, has hit, hits the ball really well. If there's uh, one weakness to her game, she needs to you know, move a little bit more uh, at the net and not have uh, her partner running around so much, but, but she's working hard on that. Uh, her, she's got a really good serve, a good listener. She also wants to be uh, a better player. Uh, her partner is Audrey Bear, who's a freshman. Uh, also hits the ball really well from both sides. Uh, really good net player. So her and Allie have really, uh, in a short period of time, you know, we've only been together for three weeks. So in a short period of time, they've really came on and, and impressed me so far this year. They're, they're having a really good season together. Uh, some of our reserve players are Emma Patrick, who's a, a junior, who plays reserve for us, has a winning record also. Maddie Jacobs, who's a junior, uh, plays reserves, has a winning record for us. Um, then our other freshmen are Peyton Howell and Trinity Stoner, both having a really good season at reserve for us. So, you know, practice is competitive. Uh, we've got 11 girls, but I wouldn't be afraid to mix and match those girls anywhere in our lineup, to be honest with you. Uh, we did have an injury with Ellie uh, for a couple of matches, and I had to put uh, Trinity at two doubles and move Audrey up to three singles, and we were successful in both places. So, uh, you know, uh, happy with this team and the way we've progressed. and. Just need to get a little bit better here over the next couple of weeks and get ready for a run, and, and I feel very comfortable we'll get there. You know, the, you have a lot of freshmen on that team mm -hmm. and one senior, and let me tell you what, that's got to make you happy. Not only that you have one senior that can help guide these girls, you know, throughout the rest of this year, but you got a strong foundation to go oh, for the absolutely. future. Absolutely, and we've got, uh, I believe, three eighth graders that will be coming in next year that are that hit the ball really well. Uh, we went and watched them play against Shaw the other night, and. You know, they're going to come right in and be competitive. So practice is going to continue to be competitive the next few years. So um, you're going to have to really work hard and probably work hard in the summertime if you want to get a spot. So that's what we're looking for. And, you know, you have those. Yeah, but again, it's always fun when those teams score up. But then you have the two bigger schools, Jennings County, who you lost a close one to. And then you have Greensburg, who always has a strong program, it seems like. But again, you, you seem confident that your team can pull this off. Uh, I'm very confident, I, you know. We've, we've grown a lot over the last three weeks. We really have. Um, as far as them listening and trying to implement things that we're putting in to make them better individually and as doubles teams, uh, they've taken that and they've, and they've ran with it. They've, they've tried to put it in, and I, and I see them making progress. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've played every sport, and tennis and golf are mentally as about as tough as it gets. Um, you've got to stay focused all the time, and you can't dwell in golf. You can't dwell on a bad shot. In tennis, you can't dwell on a bad shot and let it carry over the next. You've got to move on and get that one out of your head and play the next and, and the next and the next. It takes, uh, you know, four points to win to win a game. You can't dwell on one or two bad ones. So that's what I've tried to get them to understand is, you know, you're going to hit bad shots. It's going to happen. You're not going to be perfect, but don't dwell on it. Move on to the next ones, and you can still, uh, you can still win the game, match, set, whatever, you know. And they've done a good job of that so far. I asked uh, them to, you know, give a message to the younger kids that are maybe interested in playing. 
What's your message as the head coach, you know, for any of the kids that out, out in Hanover that are possibly thinking about playing next year? Well, I think if you've looked at our tennis program over the last 15 years, it's success. I mean, uh, if you want to be a part of a team that's going to be successful, that's going to be close-knit, uh, you're going to have fun, you're going to learn something that you can play the rest of your life. Uh, I mean, there's people that come to our park and play that's 80 years old right now. So it's something you can do the rest of your life uh, to, to keep in shape and to be uh, active. And uh, I think that the success, the success we're going to have over the next four years, uh, I would think would lure anybody into wanting to come and give it a shot. Excellent. Well, Coach, um, I agree. What a great couple group of girls here. Like I said, they're, they were terrific on the air. Best of luck to you this year, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the postseason, okay? Well, we really appreciate you having us and, and all that you and uh, Timmy T and uh, your station does for the area and sports. I mean, if we didn't have you guys, then everybody be in the dark on what's going on in the area, but you really keep everybody up to up to par on what's going on. We really appreciate it. Well, you also send us stuff, so we appreciate the fact that you do that. Not so, a problem. So thank you all so much. Uh, Coach Garrett, best of luck to you, and girls, the best of luck to you too as well.